it normally. I don't have a way to test this with it being on the car. Because normally I have to get this clamp to the very back and there's cords in the way. Yes. And because all this stuff has to be taken out, we aren't able to take the battery out here. So I don't have a way to test it. To take you, it back. you need to ground that, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what it was telling me. Yeah, Somebody told me you could ground this on one of the other bolts. Well, you, normally there's like a bolt right here for it. It, but it's not there and or what about uh i don't really see anything in the ground honestly which is what oh but what about this bolt right here could, could that be used for ground that possibly could be yeah let's see if that works yeah the battery's been in there for about four almost five years so i know that's usually the I just want to kind of confirm it before looking at uh, wasting it. It won't test it. It just keeps clearing it back to the main screen though. It's not going to take that as a ground. Okay. Well, it's taking it as a ground because it doesn't tell me to change to check my terminal connections, but it's not reading anything. It just goes back once it starts. Yeah, you just can't really get back there without actually sliding it out. Yeah, which it could be... If the battery's four or five years old, it could be doing that because the terminals are bad. And so even if we were to pull it out, or if you were to go have somebody pull it out and then we brought it, brought, bring it here and we put it on our big tester inside, yeah. it probably still wouldn't do anything. Because a lot of the times when they go bad, the terminals go bad too, where you can't even get it tested on. Ah. Uh -huh. That's probably what I'm going to say is happening because that's really the only thing that I could think of why this wouldn't read it. Okay. Because that's a ground wire there. It, that should be perfectly fine for a ground. But, you know, with the indications in the car being that when I uh, turn it off mm -hmm. and I leave the car and I go, I come back in and I try to, you know, it's push to start mm -hmm. and there's no lights or nothing like that. And I mm -hmm. wait about a minute, maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then if I push to push to start, then everything starts back up. Mm -hmm. That's usually indicating that the battery is kind of. Yeah, yeah, they normally only last three or four years. Three or four so years. five, so four or five is going to be it. It's more than likely going to be going out. Okay. But so yeah, I would take it to a mechanic shop, get them to pull it, because again, you, you have to get all this stuff taken out of the way for. All right, it's time to change this battery out. I'm gonna have to do it myself. Might have some help here in just a minute. But I watched a video on how to do it, and uh, we're ready to go. So apparently these uh, newer cars, well, you could say relatively new, you know, the old style, you could just have the battery right here and you can go at it and just replace it. But um, yeah, so I watched a YouTube video. Thank goodness for YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I watched a YouTube video that explained what to do, right? I keep a, a mechanics tool set in my car at all times because over the years I found it to be very handy. But anyway, I already forgot I already forgot the measurements from the video, but it don't matter. But you got to remove the windshield wiper blades first. So the stakes are pretty high here because I'm going to be traveling with my uncle in a couple of days. We're going to go uh, go out to eat. And we're also going to, um, we're also going to be looking at a few things that I did, you know, so I got to make sure that my car is in good shape. This might be a little easier if I can get that stationary like that. Let me put on my work gloves. That's why I brought them out here. These are my actual work work gloves for my day job. So this is what I actually wear. My personal protective equipment. I'm trying to get somewhere. Going to that, going to that Japanese restaurant. Eat that Japanese, nice Japanese meal. And last thing I want is my car to be stopped in the restaurant parking lot. only because that makes for a very long night and an expensive towing. So, 
I'm like, let me be proactive and get this done now. I don't think I'm going to need that yet, if at all. I am going to need the screwdriver here in just a second. First, it's, it's supposed to pop right out. think I had the uh, I had the shop with this put to the shop and I had them put these on here fresh for me and I could have did this myself and uh, if I had realized that um, I'd end up doing all of this I just would have I just would have did the wipers myself but you know sometimes you're in a hurry and you just want a professional to do this for you to do these things for you but there's some things that it's like it's a time sensitive thing and the costs are such that it's like in some cases you might as well just do it yourself we got all this jacket on and stuff I minimize the dirt on my nice clothes here thought about switching into some jeans alright so then this whole panel's going to come up right but not before these clips these clips have to be removed so according to the video I watched you take the flathead in and um, just go to town with it those clips just slightly Actually, a flathead is not really the best tool for this. But yeah, so there's clip number one. There's clip number two. And actually, a prying tool is actually more appropriate. But my prying tool is in a container somewhere, and I don't feel like going out and looking for it. I got all kinds of pry tools for working on cars over the years. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm the least mechanically inclined among my brothers. But we're all mechanically inclined to some extent. I'm more technological. Computers and all that kind of stuff but at some point you've got to understand hardware whether it's cars and machines and whatever because when they break down you got to be able to work with the systems that was your that's the original intent of my YouTube channel is to talk about systems in all their variety because when we talk about computers, the logic for computers applies to many other things. The system, just like this car is a system. There's the clip, final clip. All right, let's see, because I saw that it was trying to give a little bit. lift up that side yeah let's see that just comes out that way I really do hope I can get this done in about 30 minutes or less I don't want this to take all all night I do have things to do So far, this is looking quite promising. The design of the vehicles after the year 2000 has definitely made it a lot more troublesome to uh, replace a battery. All right, so that's part one. All right, so 
let's get rid this need to this need, needs to be removed first hexagonal This, um, this white plastic piece is not going to be removed. It's simply going to be loosened out of the way. In an effort to try to make the uh, components stack together in a compact way in this car's design, to put unrelated parts together. All right, so I'm going to actually do this entire assembly. one of those moments I'm really grateful for YouTube and social media. This is what it's actually supposed to be about. Learning and solving real world situations in a practical way. Practical application. And whether this process I'm doing now succeeds or fails, I'm glad that I'm able to actually try it and make progress. Because so far it makes logical sense the steps that I'm taking. Yep, there you go, just like the dude said. There's that piece on this other side. So coincidentally, this is easier with uh, two people doing this. I could ask my brother to come out here and help me, but he's actually knee deep in something, another project. And uh, I'm gonna let him uh, be on that. All right, that's a little cover, just like that. Is that, is that supposed to slide in here? I'm about to check that out. That don't look like that. That looks like that was looser than it was supposed to be. There is the battery. All right, I think I can take it from here. All right. Okay. So I gotta remove this bar. Let's see. It's the same eight millimeter. Do it different. Uh, but it doesn't have to be all so tight. Not really. I had a bowl of avocados today. Last three days, my midday meal. It's just straight avocados, nothing else, just avocados. Three avocados, I, I, scoop, out the, I scoop out the avocados, and, um, and then I slice them up into little tiny chunks to make it easier to digest. And I baste them in olive oil, turmeric, cumin, and coriander powder. And uh, cayenne pepper and regular pepper. And that's it. And that's what I've been eating for what you can call lunch for the last three days. All right. Okay. I forgot this part. I forgot. This part I forgot. I forgot if you uh, take the red, the red off first or the, the black off first. I'm gonna just go with black. I can't remember. The 
in this case, someone's consult some more professional expert than myself. I'll be back. All right, so consulted the professionals. And they work on 18-wheeler uh, engines, so you know, they, they know a lot about you know the mechanics of engines and cars and batteries, but they even had to phone a, phone a friend themselves because it's like, you know, these new cars, you gotta just be careful. So you have to take the negative off first, then the positive. And then when you put, it, put the battery in, you gotta put the positive in first, then the negative. You gotta do it the opposite. Old cars, you could do it either way, right? Because it's just like one of those things where it didn't matter. But with the new cars, the engine control module could get uh, damaged if you do it wrong. But anyway, I'm now in a spot where I can just uh, start to take this off. So let's see. just go at it. Now, actually, it looks like this is a safety feature right here. If I take this off, it looks like that'll be a benefit. Maybe. Just test it. Yeah. So anyway, I don't have to do that then. So I can just go ahead and take this off. I'm at 10. I just had this somewhere. This is 10. anti-corrosion grease freshly applied a few weeks ago on this terminal at least Just gotta jerk on it a little bit until it wiggles up, up and out. I got a little washer piece here. I don't want that. I don't want that to separate that out. I want that. Come here. There we go. Just pull this battery out and then I can look.
after fasting for 30 days. It's not uh, battery acid. All right. I'm going to wash my hands and all that good stuff when I finish with this. I want that spread to my gut microbiome. You know what I'm saying? Really, all of this needs to be cleaned down in here is what really needs to happen. Forego that for now. All right, so the car is battery low. There's no, no power. The electrolytes are gone. To use a health terminology. Let me see what time it is. All right, I got 30 minutes. If I can do this in 30 minutes, I can still recover the evening in terms of what my plans were. I can recover this evening. Put this off. And I'll need that and put that over there. Get this off. Yeah. It'll take me just a quick 10 second break here. At this point, I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to be doing. Loosen it, then maybe I can tighten it. Okay. Did you get it off? I did. We did get it off. Okay. We got to go to the store. Okay. Get her cake stuff, and then I got to pick them up. Yes. I'm not going to have the screws on the other pieces as tight, but here it is vital that the screws are white tight. And then, I'm also at the point where this can be tested. Yep. All you have to do is open the door and the lights come on. So I don't even have to start it. All right. Now I just got to put it all back together. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush through this part. The key mission has been accomplished. So, like I said, I'm going to rush through this part. I'm going to take these gloves off because that's the quickest way for me to work. There's still enough light where I can see everything. I think. It's starting to get dark out here. All right. First, the, the bar. Yes. I got 13 minutes. 
that doesn't mean I'm gonna be late to wherever I'm trying to go. It just means that I'm going to a restaurant and I want time enough to sit down and enjoy myself. So that means, so what that means is, uh, But I'm not getting there with only 30 minutes before they close. You know what I'm saying? So. Alright. Maybe that was 10 minutes. No, I guess. This actually gives me an appreciation for it. Or half of it. When you take your car to the shop. And it all has to be done to get a car 100%. You see there are clips. They have to go in the right place in the right socket.
and that's rainwater seep into the engine. And there's an engine cover, but it's like you don't want to uh, leave anything to chance there. And that's how, and this here is how I know I've done that right because now that seat's in there on this uh, side over here, seat's in there just right. properly seat it. All right. Now, I got two screws that I forgot where they went. Where the hell did these screws go? While I figure that out, I'm going to start with these clips. Put the clips in, in place. I can at least do that. I'll do that with my hands. It took a screwdriver to get them out, but it don't require a screwdriver to get them in. Oh, now I know where the screws go. They go on that, they go on this piece right here. And like the design of all of this makes sense, but you still ask yourself, is it a good design? And um, I won't go into all the details of that at this moment because I'm not trying to think existentially at this moment. I'm really just trying to. Uh, get this done and get going. That is my goal. It's been a long time since I spent this close proximity to an engine for this duration of the time. And I forgot how much heat they retain. And I love heat. This is actually kind of awesome in a way. It's kind of awesome. I'm getting all the heat I love on a chilly day. It's, an it's not entirely a chilly day, but it's chillier. And then once I start this car up, it's going to work better than it has been in the last uh, couple of weeks in terms of the electronic controls and all that good, good stuff. Get these windshield wipers in, in place. Man, I hope I did this right just now. I was supposed to have kept up with which one was which, but uh, honestly, I didn't really do that. I don't, I, don't anticipate, I don't anticipate having to use the windshield wipers tonight, but fine. should be just fine. Low battery. Uh, my phone is saying low battery, so hold on. All right, so I'm at 20% battery. And um, what I'm doing is I'm just starting the car up. See what we got.
I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it ride with the uh, wipers. And um, go wash my hands and get going to my destination. Everything is in order. <laughs>